The Karate Kid, written by Robert Mark Heyman and directed by John G. Avildsen, illustrated by Kim Smith. The big day had finally arrived. Daniel and his mother had moved to California. They were excited to live by the ocean, but Daniel was nervous about being the new kid. On Daniel's first day of school, some mean kids started picking on him. The leader of the group was named Johnny. The mean kids studied karate at a dojo named Cobra Kai. A dojo is a place where students learn martial arts. All of the students at Cobra Kai were training for a big karate tournament. The next day, the Cobra Kai students chased Daniel home from school. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a man appeared and he chased the boys away with his karate moves. It was Mr. Miyagi, the Japanese maintenance man who worked in Daniel's apartment building. He was better at karate than the Cobra Kai students. Please teach me karate, Daniel said to Mr. Miyagi. I want to enter the tournament. If I can beat Johnny, I bet he will stop picking on me. I promise to teach karate, said Mr. Miyagi, if you promise to learn. That day, Mr. Miyagi became Daniel Sensei. Sensei is the Japanese word for teacher. The next day, Daniel went to Mr. Miyagi's house. Daniel was excited to start learning karate. First, Mr. Miyagi gave Daniel a special headband. Next, Mr. Miyagi handed Daniel a bucket and sponge. He told him to wash all the cars in the driveway and then wax them too. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Daniel worked very hard all day. He worked until the sun went down. Finally, all the cars were clean and shiny. But he worked so hard and so long that there was no time left for karate training. The next morning, Mr. Miyagi handed Daniel two sanders. Right circle, left circle. Breathe in, breathe out. Daniel worked very hard all day. He worked until the sun went down. Finally, the deck was smooth but he worked so hard and so long, there was no time left for karate training. Daniel woke up excited. Maybe today, Mr. Miyagi would finally teach him karate. Instead, Mr. Miyagi gave Daniel a can of paint and a paintbrush. Long strokes, up, then down. Don't forget to bend the knees. Daniel worked very hard all day. He worked until the sun went down. Finally, the house was painted, but Daniel was frustrated. He wanted to learn karate, not do chores all day. When Mr. Miyagi came home, Daniel said, I'm tired of doing chores. Why won't you teach me karate? I haven't learned anything. You've learned plenty. Show me how you wax the cars. Daniel showed him how, and he blocked Mr. Miyagi's punch. Show me how you sanded the deck. Daniel showed him how, and he blocked Mr. Miyagi's kick. Show me how you painted the house. Daniel showed him how, and he blocked Mr. Miyagi's strike. Daniel couldn't believe it. The whole time he thought he was doing chores, he had actually been learning karate moves and getting stronger every day. The tournament was coming and Daniel was practicing very hard. Mr. Miyagi taught him to balance by staying upright in the ocean waves. Balance is key. Balance good. Karate good. Everything good. Mr. Miyagi taught him a special mood called the crane kick, which Daniel practiced while balancing on the edge of a boat. He also taught Daniel that karate wasn't fighting. It was about balance and discipline, both in the body and in the mind. Daniel noticed that Mr. Miyagi was always trying to catch flies with his chopsticks. One day, Daniel asked him why. If you can catch a fly with chopsticks, you can accomplish anything. Daniel decided to try and he immediately caught the fly. 
beginner's luck. Finally, it was the day of the tournament. Daniel wore a special uniform that was a gift from Mr. Miyagi. Daniel was very nervous. Most of the kids were bigger than he was and they all had black belts. But Daniel won match after another. He just imagined he was back at Mr. Miyagi's house doing his chores. Final match was against Johnny, the leader of the Cobra Kai students. Daniel scored two points. Then Johnny scored two points. One more point would determine the winner. Daniel stood on one leg and closed his eyes, pretending he was in the boat on the water. Daniel found his balance. He breathed in and breathed out. Daniel won a point. He won the tournament. Johnny handed Daniel the trophy. You earned it, Johnny said. I couldn't have done it without my sensei, Daniel said. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.